everybody. Welcome back to Unknown Comics. We are here at MegaCon Orlando 2021. I'm here with Greg Warren. How's it going? It's going fantastic. We've had a really good day. Um, it's nice that the uh, you know the first show that everybody's back and and hearing weird voices. Yeah. You're hearing, I think the stormtroopers are coming to get us. But anyway, it's been a great show. I think it's been busy. For, like everybody seems busy. Oh yeah, yeah. I've been noticing that. And um, you know, you go around, you walk into Artist Alley. It looks very vibrant and alive. So you know, people weren't sure what to expect because of uh, you know this is really the first big show. Um, since the pandemic and, you know, everybody having to wear a mask. So I think people are p pretty happy to see the results here. Cool. Yeah, so, yay, Florida. <laughs> yay, Florida. Ah. <laughs> so I just want to get some, like, art questions. Uh, you started, like, graffiti art, van art, that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, so how'd you get from there to comic books? Uh, well, I've always been a, uh, a, a student of airbrush art, so that's what kind of got me into uh, painting uh, cars, vans, motorcycles, and stuff like that. And then uh, I was also a big comic book fan, so um, I was able to translate that uh, art style over to uh, comic books. Have you always been a reader of comics? Oh yeah, ever since I was eight. Funny enough, the first book I ever picked up was a book called, it was a Marvel book, but they, they were uh, doing uh, a comic book version of Marvel, uh, of Hanna-Barbera's cartoon called The Laugh Olympics. So it had Yogi Bear and uh, all, the, all these different Hanna-Barbera characters, but they were, they competed against each other in the Laugh Olympics. Nice. Um, so you do pretty much, it covers only now, correct? Yeah. Did, did you do interiors at one point? Almost exclusively interiors. For a long time, uh, I've worked worked for a lot of independent companies like Fem uh, uh, AC Comics, Femforce. Um, worked for Malibu for a while. And what was funny was back then, you know, I wasn't very well known, so they they didn't ask me to do the cover. So if you get most of those books, they don't have my art on the covers. It's somebody else. And then you know, I slowly worked my way up uh, to being a cover artist. It's kind of funny, you know. These days, they will bring artists in, and boom, you're a cover artist. But back in the back in the days, you actually you had to prove yourself and work your way up to be the cover artist. It would be like, uh, you know, like, oh, Adam Hughes, his his interiors are so great, we love them. Let's get him to do a cover to sell this book. And that's that used to be the way it worked. So back when you were doing that, did you prefer like? Would you rather work on an ongoing series or uh, an event, a mini series? Did it matter at all to you? I don't know. I would probably prefer to work on like a like a one shot, really. To be on, honest, uh, interiors is a lot of work for me. And then, um, so what is if you had a, what would be your dream project? My dream project would be doing something for myself, like a creator own project. Um, you know, in the way of doing the whole thing. Uh, cover projects, you know, I I enjoy most anything. It's it's the variety is great. I like to try new things, so I, I don't know if I have a preference cover-wise, but yeah, my dream project, definitely, do a, do, a, do a book of my own. Cool. Well, I want to thank you for talking to me. I want to thank you for coming to the show. Uh, it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad you're here. This is fun. This is, yeah. this is my local show. I do it every year. I live down in Palm Beach, so it's just a drive for me. Not a short drive, four hours, but, but it was good to, uh, good to get back to this and... And, uh, um, you know, just uh, get back to life again. It's great. Exactly, exactly. And I want to thank you all out there for tuning in. Uh, and we'll see you next time here on Unknown Comics.